Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. If Brian Gwadamusi Babangeda reveal what, you know, what happened, okay, and how the Niger Republic government, what they did, you know, during the uh, Nigerian Civil War, all that happened. Bangida said, he told the minister that the Niger gave Nigeria access to arms during the Biafra War. What happened in Nigeria? It was the Niger who assisted, who gave Nigeria arms. He says, so don't think that, you know, sanctioning them and, think, and thinking that um, you will get through is a way, you know, for all of these things. He said, no, that the Niger, you know, they, they know exactly what they are doing. They are, are strong people as well. That, you know, Tinubu should not try it in any way, humanly speaking, possible to go to war with Niger because he will not have it funny. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Bangida said he told a minister that Niger gave Nigeria access to arms during the Biafra war. Kazim reveal. Kazim Afuba, the media advisor to former Nigerian head of state Ibrahim Badamusi has alleged that the former general once said Nigeria supported Niger supported Nigeria in the Biafra war and that it is not time they cannot do that now to retaliate because the West have asked them to do so. Speaking in an interview on AIT News, Afugba Sebabangeda once told him that when he was president of Nigeria, a minister told him to stop power supply to Niger, but he refused. According to Afugba, Babangida told the minister that during the Biafra war, Niger supported Nigeria by giving Nigeria access to arms and ammunition, which helped the government. According to Afugba, I love to remember some of the lessons I learned from Babangida, Badamusi Babangida, who was the president at that time, the head of state, who told me when he was president, a particular minister from the South has written to him a memo to say, please let us stop power to Niger. Let's concentrate on our country. We have not produced enough power for ourselves. He said, I sent a message back to the minister uh, through a memo on that, that, that the man should go and dig, do his digging. I sent an eight, a 16 page memo where he, after he sent a message to me to speak on the issue, and only one point he took away was that we are professors, but we don't seem to know Nigerian history. Professors, this man was a professor, but he did not know the history of Nigeria. Niger was the only country that granted us the right and access to arms and ammunition during the Civil War. Every other person all the other countries are associating now and forming ECOWAS. Nobody came to Nigeria's aid, only Niger, which is Nigerian's brothers. If Tinubu goes to war with Niger, he will have himself to blame. I cannot tell you what will happen to him. He will not live to see the repercussion of what he is about to do. So this is uh, Babangida, Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida. I don't send message. Say Tinubu. You know what he wants to so say? We get professors, say, but they don't know the history of Nigeria. And that is because it's not being taught in school. How will they know unless they are taught? You want them to know and you don't teach them. There's no way children can know. If you don't open the book and explain to them that this and this and this and this is what happened, there is no way anybody will know. There is no way anybody will know. So if you want them to know, you will have to do the hard work of what we call teaching. Mm, teaching. It's called, it's called, it's called, you know, what lessons. You need to begin to bring out the lesson book and begin to explain to them. Between this time and this, if you go to America, they all have their history. All the children in primary school and everything, they all have the history. They know what happened. When Nigeria, when the American gained their independence, what went on, they all know it. But in Nigeria, what do we have? People don't, they don't even teach it in school. You know, we are struggling to teach uh, uh, either this uh, the religious study or that religious study. Now, I'm not against any of the religious study, don't get me wrong. But I'm saying your history, what made you, okay, your current day and time, what are you doing about it to be able to understand? Because if you do not understand what has happened before, 
You don't know what you are going through now. How can you make preparation for what is going to happen? You must be ready, spirit, soul, and body. That is the only way you can truly only appropriate and ensure that the right thing is done. So every single person needs to ensure that we put things right in, you know, right in place. So Bangida said, if, if Tinubu is thinking of anything to do to anybody, it should not be Niger. Niger was the only country that associated with Nigeria, you know, with their help. Nigeria was able to, you know, according to Babangida, defeat that war against Niger. So, so anybody that wants to, you know, fight that fight now, the person will have himself to blame because there is no going back in all of this. He said, because if Tinubu tries it, the battle will be from within, not outside. By the way, don't forget that Islamic leaders and their clergies have already sent out message. Oh, yes telling Tinubu that if he fights Niger, he will fight them. He has called on the governors from the north. Can't you see that Tinubu's voice is not low since the matter began? Voice is not low, where, where? The voice is not harsh again as he used to. Where go? They talk, they talk, they talk plenty. They see it all low. The volume don't go down, where, where? Because the daughter has say, Tinubu, if you would they push you, so may they push you. Where the wala go start? Not be late, not be, not be late, the person go. You say you go suffer and by the time you see what it happen, you will not be able to talk, oh. You will you, you see you will lose you will lose consciousness to be able to speak or, and retaliate in the matter. So the best thing for you, not to which the caller, respect yourself. Beyond all reasonable doubt, respect yourself or, because if you allow yourself to be used, ha, eh, what you will see, you will not believe it. The thing you want to see, by the time you see it, you'll not be able to believe it. You know, so these are some of the things that are going on, and we all just need to begin to pay serious great and careful attention so together we can make a difference and nigeria can be a better place yes so please remember everything happening right now will tell us you know will take us to where we need to be and so we need to be able to you know carefully examine and understand some of this okay we need to be able to carefully on the uh, examine and understand some of these things so that together nigeria can become a better place the people who are there and everything that is happening and you see that the, you know this would they, they, they have a mission statement this would they have a mission statement and we need to understand it we need to come out of everything and anything that does not want to move us forward as a nation if there is any time in the history of the nation where people should arise and make sure that you know they stand for what is right that time is now so bangida said they refuse any form of uh, you know uh, stopping it to Niger because of the way forward. God bless. Bye for now.